All right, in this image or this video, I want to show how you can take multiple images of an object and merge them together using Photoshop to produce a seamless single image. Uh, two advantages of doing this is you get more resolution. Each one of your original images has a lot of detail in it. You could be shooting with a 10 or 15 megapixel digital SLR and you're zoomed in a little more, you have a higher power with whatever telescope you're using, and so you're able to see more detail in each image, but you can't see the object as a whole. And so we're going to use Photoshop to combine all four of these of the sun into one image that has a, a good deal of resolution. So we'll jump over here, we'll go to File, we'll go to Automate. This is where it's hiding. It's called Photo Merge. And when this box pops up, look for the Browse button find your four photos or you could even have more if you have say a 14 inch telescope and you put an extension tube on and you you have a uh, good 300 power for the camera um, you may have like 50 of these images that you may need to stitch together but you'll do you'll follow these same steps that um, we're following here so we'll have these four images we'll hit OK and the way Photoshop's gonna do this we're gonna pick collage and then we're going to make sure blend images together is checked. Hit OK. On the right hand side here I have the layers palette open and you can see Photoshop loading in the four images and then it begins to figure out how to put them together so there's no problems. It's going to be seamless and none of this is being done manually. Photoshop does it all for us. So There you have it. A perfect image we still have four layers on the side here so I'm going to go up to layer I'm going to go flatten image that will smush it into one layer and then we can go in here and we can check to see how well Photoshop put this together and there are no problems it's pretty neat how good Photoshop does this and when you're taking your images make sure they are overlapping a little bit so that Photoshop has some uh, detail from one image and the other image that's the same and that, that'll help it in stitching and making it uh, a perfect image. So now you can just go file and save and you have a new image that you didn't have before that uh, has a lot more resolution and good detail.